The San Francisco 49ers averaged 5.7 yards per attempt on the ground. Jimmy Garoppolo went to throw four touchdowns and was not sacked at all. And generally speaking, the offensive line had a really good day. And today, we're going to break down the tape. Let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, let's jump right into it. Uh, having Trent Williams on your team is absolutely unfair. Uh, watch this move right here by Trent. He's going to take that defensive tackle and he's going to put him into the ground. Now, I want to break down exactly what it is that allows him to take a guy and put him down so quickly. Because people may not realize the type of advanced tools that Trent Williams has in this toolbox. Now, if you guys watched the video that I posted about Trent Williams a couple of weeks back, one of the first few clips, I showed some advanced run blocking moves. And in this one right here, he's going to use a advanced pass blocking move, which is referred to as the snatch and trap. He's going to take number 93. He's going to take that hand of number 93, that right hand, and he's going to snatch it down right there. So what he's doing, he's basically pulling him forward. And because he's strong enough and he's quick enough, the fact that he pulls someone forward, that guy goes right into the dirt. That is absolutely impressive in my opinion. Trent Williams is top tier and it shows on tape. The type of things he does is absolutely special. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Watch the movement that Aaron Banks and Trent Williams create on this split zone right here. Absolutely move two guys right there and open up a nice lane for Christian McCaffrey to pick up four yards. But that right there is absolutely beautiful. If you guys watch Banks, he's going to get physical with J.J. Watt, make contact. Relative to the hash mark, watch how far he moves him. He's going to be able to move him about four yards to the left of that hash mark. You watch Trent Williams. Watch the left hand of Trent Williams land on the back of 44. And that hand is used as leverage to push number 44. Look at how much Williams absolutely crushes number 44. That movement right there lets McCaffrey pick up four yards. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. This is an outside zone to the left of your screen. Watch Santa Jake Brendel get out in space and get to the inside here of number 25. This is a really, really nice reach block by 64. Really nice angle. Look at that angle, that wide angle to the left of your screen. He gets to the inside of Xavier Collins. He's able to absolutely seal him off. That's a really, really nice job. Now, of course, one of the things with these outside zone runs is if the outside lane isn't there, the running back's going to look to cut it into one of the backside lanes. Of course, in this play, McCaffrey does cut it. He picks up five yards on the backside. But that reach block was a really, really nice job by Jake Brendel. To be able to get wide and get out there is fantastic in my opinion. Now, this play doesn't hit to the outside because of right tackle Mike McGlinchey. He's going to get out of his stance, and he's actually not able to get out there because the two tight ends do a fantastic job stopping J.J. Watt. And Watt actually ends up running into Mike McGlinchey. So McGlinchey's not able to get out in space because of that. Not a major deal because it is an outside zone. So the cutback lane will always develop back towards the inside. Really nice job. For being 34 years old, Trent Williams is still an absolute superstar. Watch him get out in space here. Make contact with a super, super explosive safety, Buda Baker, and put his ass into the ground. That is a really nice job. And then he even gets to the second guy there. And this play ends up hitting for 20 yards. That's a really, really nice job by Trent Williams. For a tackle to get out in space and to be able to make contact with some of those super quick football players is very difficult. And Trent Williams makes it look easy even at this stage of his career. Now, a big reason why this play hits for 20 yards, because of the block here by Aaron Banks on J.J. Watt and Jake Brendel here on Lakia Fodu, and of course, the crack block here by the wide receiver, those three blocks allow Trent Williams to get out in space. And it also ensures that the front side is fully blocked off. So really nice job here, here, and here. Of course, Williams gets out in space. Puts down number three, blocks number 20. This play should have been a touchdown. The fullback was able to get out there a little bit quicker. You got 44, 74, and 85 all lead blocking. It's a really nice design. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. As the Niners are asking Mike McGlinchey to get vertical or set in a 45 degree set, he is still losing reps. And I know he can't jump set on every single play, but you got to do a better job if you're the right tackle. This play right here ends up going for 14 yards, and this play should have actually lost 10 yards because Mike McGlinchey holds number 94 right there. That right there should have been called, and that should have been a loss of 10 yards. And Mike McGlinchey got to step up, man. And he has to really, really work on his footwork. He really needs to work on his contact and his ability to reshift his hips, right? If he's going to the right here, he should be able to come back to the left if a guy gives you an inside move. So he has to work on this. Again, should have been a loss of 10 yards. 
But as you guys know, Debo Samuel is going to catch it and take it for 14 total yards. A nice job right there by Samuel. You have a four yard run by Eliza Mitchell, but the offensive line does a really, really, really good job. On this play right here, they do a great job. It's an outside zone to the right. Um, you guys are going to see the one guy that's going to go unblock ends up tackling Mitchell after he gains four yards. This doesn't always happen that the backside pursuit makes the play. But from tight end to tight end, fullback, all the offensive linemen, they do an absolute beautiful job. Literally every single guy is going to win on this play. Every single guy is able to effectively reach and get to the guys that they need to get to. We're going to start it off with the right tackle, right guard. The right tackle is going to double 93, get up to the next level, and 60 is going to overtake number 93. This is a really nice job double teaming there. 60 reaches. He's able to flip his hips. That is a beautiful block. 69 gets up to the next level, pushes his guy outwards. That's a nice job. Taking this back, if you watch the center, the center has a reach here on 25. He's going to double, but Banks overtake number 95. There's the double there. Banks gets to his guy and cuts him off. 64 gets up to the linebacker and he, and he really shuts him down as well. This is a really, really, really nice job. Like there are massive lanes here for the running back. He can hit this to the outside. He can bend it back to the inside. And I'm very surprised this play only picks up four yards. Obviously, number 45 is able to get there. And it's crazy because most of the time, the backside guy does not chase this as aggressively as number 45 does. Still, this is a really nice job and it's still a four yard gain. Uh, it's a winning play in my opinion and these type of plays translate not every team has a dennis gardick on their team not every defensive end linebacker is able to chase this backside and make the play i want to show you guys something really quickly with trent williams a big part of winning reps between offensive linemen and defensive linemen is your hands big big part of it is who has the better hand usage if you guys watch trent williams hand the right hand specifically the defensive end is going to get his left hand into trent williams chest if you watch the right hand of williams he's going to knock that hand down all right there it is he's going to get his right hand he's going to remove the leverage that number 93 has right there i want to just kind of point this out because that's what it takes to win in the nfl to be able to use your hands and take away leverage. It's crazy because when you guys watch this play in real time, you don't even really notice it. It happens so quickly. Uh, that's that's insane right there. That's a really nice job by Trent Williams to win the rep by basically just removing the leverage that number 93 has. You really see 93 kind of struggle, almost fall over. He kind of just falls into Williams there. And he doesn't really have any sort of base to be able to win the rep at that point. That's all it takes, man. Trent Williams is absolutely special. If you guys haven't noticed it yet, um, I, I truly think that I think it's the best left tackle in the NFL because he really does things at a top tier level. I want you guys to watch left guard Aaron Banks and left tackle Trent Williams on this play and watch them pass off the defensive line game. But I really want you guys to focus in on Aaron Banks because Banks does such a great job anchoring down. And it's one of the things that he did really well in college is anchoring down. It's very important that as an offensive lineman, you anchor. And you can even say the biggest issue Mike McGlinchey has is he's not able to properly anchor. We'll look at McGlinchey on this rep in a second, but really watch Banks right now and watch Banks pass off the defensive lineman to Williams. Williams is able to take him. Notice the drag hand here by Williams. It's really smart for him to do that. Watch as they switch off right there. And Banks, as he makes contact, is going to drop his hips and get those legs out wide and really anchor. Really stop that defensive lineman in his tracks. And he absolutely does not let this guy get any sort of push. Like, look how close he is already to the quarterback. The quarterback's still able to kind of just stand clean there for a few seconds. It's a really, really nice job anchoring down. At the same time, you look at someone like Mike McGlinchey, he really struggles to anchor. And I think a part of it is because he kind of catches guys instead of using his hands. Right, you guys can tell he kind of uses his chest to block a little bit. You see the hands come around and he kind of catches that defensive lineman there. Um, that's different than when you use your hands, right? Aaron Banks is going to use his hands. He's really going to be able to use those hands. And hands let you anchor, right? If you catch a guy the way McGlinchey does, and keep your eye on McGlinchey here, when you catch a guy, guys are going to be able to push you backwards. McGlinchey really struggles right there to hold on to guys and he ends up into the dirt. McGlinchey has to fix his issues. I think he will over the course of his career get better doing certain things, but he really has to work on it. But again, really nice rep by the left side to process the D-line game and for Aaron Banks to anchor down. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. 
All right, you guys, jumping into the 39-yard touchdown run here by Debo Samuel, I want to break this play down because Kyle Shanahan really, really drew it up. This play right here was blocked so nicely that Debo Samuel almost went untouched for 39 yards. First and foremost, I want you guys to watch this tight end and kind of what he does because it's very unique, right? You're going to block this almost like this is some sort of to your left, and of course, it's an end around to your right. But if you watch that tight end, right, the tight end comes down. But as he's coming down, he's going to loop back around to his right because he's going to turn into a lead blocker. More than that, if you guys watch Trent Williams. Trent Williams is almost making it look like he's backside blocking. He kind of comes to his left and he tries to make it seem like he is trying to just backside block and that this is a power run. Get the left guard to pull to the right. Everybody flows to the left here. This is just a really, really nice design. On top of that, if you guys back this up one more time, Look at Kittle here, right? They try making this look like he has a backside reach on number 94, but it's not a backside reach. It's actually a frontside seal, right? That's a really nice job by Kittle to stick with his guy. Overall, really, really nicely designed play. Like Samuel literally goes untouched. He just has to kind of read his blocks and just do his thing. It's a really nice design right there. Let's get into the next rep. Watch the wide receiver here at the top of your screen and watch the down block on the defensive end. The defensive end gets about four yards into the backfield, but because of the blocking angle by the wide receiver, the defensive end is never going to make that play. It's a nice shot by the receiver, but it's really the design of the play. Now, this play right here hits for 19 yards. There's a lot of really nice front side reach blocks. Uh, one will be from uh, the left guard here, Aaron Banks. He's going to reach to the right of the screen, and he's going to be able to get to number 94, and he shuts that down as well. So that's a nice job reaching there. Of course, you got the receiver. Trent Williams comes out in space. And everyone on the backside really just reaches one gap to their right. This is a really, really nice design. Again, 19 yards. The guy basically goes untouched for that entire play. I really enjoy watching Kyle Shanahan and his run scheme. The offensive line, in my opinion, is really coming together. They're doing a lot of really good things on tape. And overall, I'm really excited to see as this offensive line continues to get better and improve. And as I mentioned in the past, I think the O-line is definitely a top 10 unit. They're definitely a top 5 run blocking unit. And they've really stepped up over the past couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time with another video.